My name is Kelton Kosick. I am the Director of Supply Chain Strategy here at where to go Among the changes that have happened with SFP requirements, really three big pillars that merchants we need, really need to look out for. Number one is we're looking at calendar days instead of business days for our one and two day delivery. The second of which is Saturday and or Sunday fulfillment needs to be able to meet those requirements. And the third is regional SFP has been discontinued for standard size products. Amazon has started looking at page views as part of these new SFP regulations. And the page views are actually broken out into two different product categories. So there's the standard size products and there's also oversized products as well. Um, and each of those has a different standard when it comes to page views and the ability to promise delivery dates to your customers. There's a lot of different factors that go into your page view percentages. The biggest of which has to do with the customer location while they are browsing Amazon. So for example, if you are someone in the state of Georgia looking at a product there, Amazon knows via your IP address where you are. So you're in the state of Georgia, you're on the East Coast, and it then knows based on you as the Amazon seller, what warehouses you have available, when your cutoff times are, and based on all of that, that is what is actually displaying to, you, to your customer and telling them what their delivery promise date can be. So another example that goes along with that would be that if a customer is looking at your Amazon listing and they see that prime badge on there, if they are looking at that prime badge after your cutoff time that's established within Amazon, they will actually see the delivery promise date being one day later than it would have been had they looked at it prior to that warehouse cutoff time. There's a number of levers that our merchants can pull in order to hit these page view metrics and these delivery promises through these new SFP regulations. Probably first and foremost of which is an increase in the number of warehouses that a, a merchant is currently in. So we have seen really a lot of success with merchants having a warehouse network distributed throughout the United States. One of the other levers that our merchants can pull really has to do with the trade-off in the location of their warehouses versus where their customers are and the shipping mode with which they use. So the ideal being being able to be in a large number of warehouses geographically spread throughout the country and being able to use as much UPS ground as possible to deliver to their customers within the one and two day uh, delivery target. With that said, some of our customers do have the ability to flex up and down as far as the number of warehouses that they have and actually have a lesser footprint but be able to do more air shipments that go out. So whether that be next day air, second day air, it's all a balance and there's a lot of different levers to pull when it comes to the number of warehouses versus the shipment mode uh, that is available to our merchants. Additionally, a lever that our merchants can pull to meet these new SFP regulations has to do with the seller central templates that are available inside of Amazon. Um, shipping region automation template we recommend is turned on. That really enables uh, Amazon to figure out exactly where the optimal warehouse would be. It allows them to look at not only that, but also the cutoff time within the warehouses to be able to send orders to our warehouses as early as possible and to be able to have the, the most cost-effective shipping method that is out there based on the location of the warehouse and where the ultimate customer it is delivering to. At where to go we think we've created a great scalable solution for SFP merchants of, of all sizes. Really our 13 warehouse network that we have established where every single one of those warehouses is fulfilling and shipping six days a week including Saturdays to help our merchants meet the new needs of SFP really enables everyone to compete and to win throughout our entire network and be able to scale up and down based on not only your needs but also the needs of our customers.